everyone, my name is Alison Scott. Welcome to Talk Coronavirus. Today we'll be talking to someone from the United States of America. Royal will be talking to us about this pandemic attack in America, what the government is currently doing differently to reduce the spread of this virus, and the citizens, how they are staying safe during this lockdown. Hello, Royal. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Very fine, thank you. So I just want to say a very big thank you for accepting to talk to me on Alice Scott Entertainment concerning this coronavirus, much especially here in the US. Yeah, sure, it's not a problem. All right, so first of all, right, the cases of coronavirus in the US is increasing day by day. So currently, the US has 331,519 cases and it has 9,484 deaths, even if there is a recovery of 17,101. So I just want to know, what is the government in the United States doing to reduce the spread of this coronavirus? Um, I, feel like, I feel like right now the reason why it's, um, it's, the numbers are increasing is because uh, they didn't really start uh, the whole social distance thing on time. But right now, all the government is doing is they're placing like um, non-essential businesses on hold. Um, everything is closed down, universities and everything, and people are being told to stay indoors until the end of April. So, so like the spread stops, so they can actually contain the number of people that have the virus right now. Okay, and so lockdown till the end of April, that's a long one, but I think that's a good one for them to stop the spread of the virus. Again, talking about that, I just want to ask, them, so the lockdown is affecting people as well, of people are losing their jobs. So is the government also doing anything to sustain people that have lost their jobs or people that can't really go out to get things? I mean, it's a peculiar case because like, um, a lot of Americans, yeah, like they depend on their daily jobs to like feed. So I mean, since people lost their jobs, I, I think the U.S. government is sending out like a stimulus check to okay. people. Like I think this up, it's about like a thousand six hundred dollars. A thousand six hundred. A thousand six hundred dollars for every week or every month. It's just a one-time thing. Okay, a one-time like, thing. Uh, okay, all right, that's good. Yeah, because so every single like individual and if you have if you have a family like you go to just 2005 depending on your tax bracket so i mean i, I think that is okay but it's not going to help people who have lost their whole job yeah so, like this whole thing is, is kind of like causing like an economic like problem yeah. like, some people were lucky lucky enough to still continue their, their job activities from home yeah. i mean li like me like i mean it didn't affect my job but like most people it did so it's kind of bad. I mean, the stimulus check is great, but it's not going to solve that much problem. Since there's a lockdown, you have to stay at home. We're all practicing social distancing. Now, yeah. if you have the symptoms, how do you test yourself? Or is there a number you have to call? Yeah, actually, there, there's a phone, there are phone numbers you, have, you can call um, when you have the symptoms before you actually go to the hospital because they encourage the call. And on the other end of the phone, like a medical practitioner is going to talk to you and ask you questions. Because the last thing like these hospitals need right now is people coming in just because they have a mild fever mm -hmm. and taking up the space for actual people who actually have the disease. And it's actually going to be bad for a person, right? You have a fever, you think you have coronavirus, and you go to the hospital or you actually get the disease there. So, like, so that's why they, they have like phone numbers and they say like, you, like you call and they're, they're going to bring an ambulance to take you to the hospital to test you. So before you have to go for a test, you have to call talk to a medical practitioner so that you don't just self-diagnose yourself. So do you have to pay, in case you have uh, the symptoms, you've called, then they feel like you have the symptoms, do you have to pay for the test, for the test kit? And also, if you're now positive, do you have to pay for medical treatment? I mean, of course, like America here, healthcare isn't free. Um, a lot of people have insurances, but still, they still have to pay through your nose. I mean, everything here is expensive. Like, an ambulance can cost from like $500 to $2,000. Just an ambulance, like just a ride, 15 minutes in the hospital. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really expensive here in America to, for health, healthcare is expensive in general. So, I mean, if you're 
no nobody's insurance. I don't think anyone's insurance card currently like covers coronavirus tests because at the beginning yes. of the year, like no one was thinking about coronavirus and insurance companies weren't thinking about adding that to their coverage plan. So yeah. if you're gonna go for the test, you're gonna definitely have to pay for it. Okay, let's talk about food. Since there's a lockdown, so our prices of food have, have Americans taken advantage of this situation in the sense of increasing the prices of food in the market or is still on the same price range? No, it's still the same price range. The, the good thing to government is like they put like regulations of that so like people don't like jack up the prices and like cause like uh, I mean it's going to be an economic meltdown. It already is, but basically they put regulations of no one jacks up their prices. Prices are still normal, like nothing changed. The only thing is that, I mean, humans are being greedy. They want to buy everything in the store, yeah? <laughs> and like, yeah, you, you go, you see someone is taking like, I mean, all the packs of water and everything. But yeah, and the thing that this like grocery stores are doing is that like, they put signs to tell you that you can't take more than two items at a time. Okay. So like, yeah, you don't, you don't got to stop. But prices are like, in general, they're still the same. It's still the same. Crazy. Okay, so thank you so much for Royal. I don't know why I'm calling you Roland. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I've given you a nickname for creating the time to come talk to me on Alice of Scott Entertainment. And please do stay safe. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. It's not a problem. Anytime. Yeah. Uh, thank you.